I like horses, and, uh, you know, I didn't fall off the damn thing. I've ridden horses all my life, and, uh, yeah, riding horses, hitting guys over the head can be fun. Best known to his fans as the strikingly handsome and stylish secret agent James Bond, Pierce Brosnan is a versatile actor termed film producer. He entered the world of television following a successful theater stint. It caused a stir with his leading role in the television miniseries, Manions of America. His popularity increased when he played the title role in the detective series, Remington Steel. Buoyed by his rising fame, he started taking up supporting roles in Hollywood films, which soon paved the way for a more substantial roles. His dapper good looks and charming personality had many industry insiders commenting that he would be a suitable choice to play the famous detective agent, James Bond. Texas, oh, so. so it wasn't so much fun. It was, it, well, it was fun, yeah, but I mean, you get up in the morning and, you know, the heat advisory is uh, 105 or something like this. And by Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Pierce Brendan Brosnan, also known as Irish. He was born on May 16, 1953, in Drogheda, County Howth, Ireland, making him 68 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 185 centimeters or six feet one inches tall. Even after being an actor, his passion for painting never faded. Nowadays, he paints for charitable causes. He has been an ambassador for UNICEF Ireland since 2001. He is a strong supporter of same-sex marriage. Brosnan is a member of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society Board of Advisors. In 2004, he was named Best Dressed Environmentalist by the Sustainable Style Foundation. Brosnan has married twice, been widowed once, and has five children and three grandchildren. He met Australian actress Cassandra Harris through her stepson David Harris, the nephew of Richard Harris. Shortly after leaving drama school, they began dating and bought a house in Wimbledon and got married in December 1980. They had one son together, Sean, born on September 13, 1983, and later became an actor. They also lived with Harris's children, Charlotte and Chris, and Brosnan adopted them after their father, Dermont Harris, died in 1986. They subsequently took on his surname. Early in their relationship, Brosnan supplemented his income by working in West End plays and television films. After Harris appeared in the James Bond film For Your Eyes Only in 1981, they secured a bank loan. They moved to Southern California, where Brosnan was cast in the title role of TV series Remington Steel, easing their financial worries. While filming The Deceivers in Rajasthan in 1987, Harris became seriously ill. She was later diagnosed with ovarian cancer and died on December 28, 1991, at the age of 43. In 1994, Brosnan met American journalist Keely Shea Smith in Mexico. They were married in 2001 at Bolintober Abbey in Ireland. They have two sons together, named Dylan and Paris. They reside primarily in Malibu, California. To shoot down in Texas, you're sweating your balls off. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Yep, land is hot, <laughs> the horse is hot, and the bowls are hot. Brosnan was the only child of May and Carpenter Thomas Brosnan. He has the same surname as his grandfather, Pierce Brosnahan. For 12 years, he lived in Navon, County Meath. He attended Skolmuir Abbey Road, Navon. His father abandoned the family when Brosnan was an infant. When he was four years old, his mother moved to London to work as a nurse. From that point on, he was largely brought up by his maternal grandparents, Philip and Kathleen Smith. After their deaths, he lived with an aunt and then an uncle, but was subsequently sent to live in a boarding house. Brosnan was brought up in a Catholic family and educated in a local school run by De La Salle brothers while serving as an altar boy. 
He left Ireland on the 12th of August, 1964, and went to Scotland to be reunited with his mother and her new husband, William Carmichael, at their home in Longaditty. Carmichael took Bronson to see a James Bond film for the first time at the age of 11. They later moved back to London, where Brosnan was educated at Elliot School in Putney, now known as Ark Putney Academy. After leaving school at 16, Brosnan decided to be a painter and began training in commercial illustration at St. Martin's School of Art in London. While attending a rehearsal for a workshop at the Oval House, he saw a fire eater teaching people how to eat fire and decided to join in. He later trained for three years as an actor at the Drama Center London. He worked as an acting assistant stage manager at the New York Theater Royal in 1975. Playwright Tennessee Williams chose him for the role of McCabe in the Red Devil Battery Sign. His performance was critically acclaimed. Throughout 1970s and early 1980s, he played minor roles in television and films. After moving to the U.S., he was in the television series Remington Steel in 1982. The series was very successful and ran for five seasons until 1987. Pierce Brosnan's good looks and skills earned him considerable attention. In 1987, he appeared in the Cold War spy film The Fourth Protocol, featuring Michael Caine. The story focused on a clause of the 1968 East-West Agreement to halt nuclear proliferation. He portrayed Phineas Fogg in the 1989 three-part television series Around the World in 80 Days. The series was loved by the audience and got three Emmy nominations. During the early 1990s, he appeared in several television films, including Murder 101 in 1991 and Death Train in 93. In 1994, he was offered the contract to play the secret agent James Bond in three movies to play a role in the fourth film. His first James Bond movie, GoldenEye, released in 1995 and became one of the most successful Bond movies. In 2002, he appeared in his last Bond movie, Die Another Day. The film which marked the franchise's 40th anniversary was also one of the highest grossing Bond movies. Brosnan then experimented with different genres, including romantic comedy, thriller, action-adventure, and dark comedy. He appeared in movies like A Long Way Down, Some Beautiful, Survivor, Urge, and The Foreigner. In 2018, he reprised his role as Sam Carmichael from the super hit 2008 movie Mamma Mia. He appeared alongside Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, and Stellan Skotsgaard in the romantic musical comedy Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Though the movie was a smash hit, it could not beat its predecessor. In 2019, he was cast to play prominent roles in films like False Positive and The Misfits. To Rick Perry and Rick Perry to Waylon Jennings and... Wow. Ended up with a, with a senator, Ted Poe. So I, Is that right? I, I listened to him a lot. And... According to estimates, his average yearly salary is around $2.6 million. As of 2021, Brosnan has said to be worth $82 million. His primary residence is in Malibu, California. His most successful Bond film inspires a $100 million mansion. Tomorrow Never Dies, the home occupies just over one acre and has about 117 feet of beachfront. In addition to the massive living room, the property has five bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. The lavish property took 10 years to build and also has a mansion in Dublin worth $12.5 million. The house is equipped with modern technology and fittings, including a walk-in fridge, a climate-controlled wine room, and a custom-designed open-plan kitchen. His car collection includes a 2017 Ford F-150, an Aston Martin V12 Vanquish, which was lost in a house fire back in 2015. He still keeps its remains in a memory. A Range Rover Vogue HSE.
a BMW 750i, a BMW i8, and a 1971 Ford Anglia.